Hey, good afternoon, JCPS. Happy Friday. What a beautiful Friday afternoon it is here in Louisville, Kentucky. And I just finished my 43rd school visit since we've gotten back to in-person school. And what a fantastic visit it was at Shacklett Elementary. Had such a great time with the students here. First off, right behind me, I want to recognize Miss Dowell's class. Um, they're working on the water cycle right now, and they made me a water cycle bracelet. And then being inside the school, I uh, met a couple of incredible young men, one named Lyric and the other named Bentley, two good friends I've made, fantastic students. What a great feel and what great culture here at Shacklett Elementary. So thank you for that fantastic visit. And that's really what this week has been all about, which is school visits. And I say school visits, but really it's meaning talking to teachers, principals, interacting with students. Best part of my job by a long shot, and I really missed it during NTI. So other than Shacklett, thank you to Eastern High School. Got to see their artist at Eastern High School working on uh, painting their Vans shoes and the Vans competition that they're in yearly. Incredible art students. Uh, Crosby Middle School, great feeling at Crosby Middle School. Thank you for that great culture that I see going on at Crosby Middle School. Also visited Olmstead North earlier in the week and no middle school where my daughter went to school. So great school visits this week, as I said, 43 of them, and we're gonna keep going through the end of the year. Uh, also want to congratulate Bo Baker at Fern Creek High School. The Ivy Plus program out at Fern Creek High School, we celebrated it this week with a press conference and so many millions of dollars in scholarships that are provided to those participants of the Ivy Plus program. Great job, Fern Creek High School, and specifically Bo Baker for that great program. And finally, we are working on our summer program. We're going to have a very robust summer program at over 100 sites throughout the community, community hubs, and at our schools. We'll be announcing more of that information on Monday. But parents that are out there, we want to get your students participating in summer learning. It's gonna be fun engaging programs while we're supporting those academic standards, specifically in reading and math. So we know this year uh, we've had to be an NTI. So let's take advantage, parents and families and students of this summer learning. We wanna get thousands of kids in summer learning. Stay tuned for some of those plans next week, but we can't wait to share those with you as we move into summer. So once again, great week here in JCPS. Keep up the great work, get some rest, and we'll see you next week.